Hello, everyone. So welcome to today's section. So this is a formation Tuesday. Technically, this is today's Wednesday morning London session, but uh, Wednesday technically just started. So this is formation Tuesday. <laughs> All right. So if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. So there is so much opportunity in the market today. So let's start with the dollar. I'm super bullish on the dollar. So let's have a look at the daily time frame on the dollar. Right. So as I've been saying, you don't need any complex analysis to show you the bias or the trend of the market. This is bullish. No brainer. Let's go to the four time frame. So you have price coming into these levels here. Like we already have a a bullish momentum from the daily time frame. We have price rejecting of this level here. So what I'm looking at with the dollar is a little pullback and then we continue the up push. So let's quickly dive into the dollar related pair. So let's start with gold. So what am I looking at with gold? I'm still looking at gold dropping into these levels here. So I'm not currently in gold. I took the shot from here, but I've not gotten any new entry. I wanted to get an, I was waiting for an Asian pullback into this zone here to take the shot, which I didn't get, unfortunately. So what I'm looking at is uh, something like this. I don't know if we are going to get this in New York. But if we get a pullback into the zone, that would be the perfect shot for gold all the way into the lows. And when it comes into the lows, it's most likely going to take out liquidity from the low. So this would be a very nice trade for about, uh, this is about 360 pips. So this is something to keep an eye on, pullbacks of gold into One All right, let me put the water. All right, so pullback of gold into one six one six five two one five area day. So we have a confirmation. So we're already taking our liquidity from this level here. The 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 sad thing that might happen is we might not get a pullback and price continues to drop, which would be very shameful. <laughs> I hope that has not happened, but yeah, so sometimes that's what like taking an early Asian trade is good. So this is silver. We have the similar setup on silver here. So we have this strong resistance here, H4 resistance. We see three POCs at this level here, very strong resistance. So same with silver. I'm looking at the, a pullback into this zone. If the pullback happens, awesome. And then we look to short silver from here all the way down. So we are looking at a very interesting New York section if we have the pullback and this is uh, almost 700 pips on silver. So that would be very interesting. And if price decides to go for liquidity grabs below here, then we'll be looking at uh, oh, just about 700 pips there about. So that is for gold. The same pattern is showing true with uh, GBP USD. So GBP USD price actually gave an entry, but I didn't take this trade because I was looking at this liquidity here, H1 liquidity. Because it was the Asian session, I was not ready to. I was not ready to take the risk in the H4 level. But this is still very, very bearish. So this is what I was looking at. Pullbacks into this H1 liquidity, but price dropped from this one hour liquidity. All right. So how do we get into this market then? Because of the structure on gold and pointing to the potential drop on potential drop on the push pullback. There is still the if gold 
push into that H4 zone, we have GBP USD's potential to push back into this zone. Let's quickly look at the Forex factory. Let's see the fundamentals for the day. Let's see if we have some big movers in the market today that could cause a lot of volatility. Oh, interesting. So we have CAD CPI at the opening of the New York session. And uh, FOMC member speech. So that is a medium impact, but also good volatility. I'm not sure if I'm sharing this currently. Let me share my entire screen to be sure. <laughs> And later in the night, we have AUD unemployment and then China GDP. So today looks quite interesting. So I'll be keeping an eye for the card news at the New York Open. If we get a pullback into this level, so this is the levels to keep an eye on on GBP USD for a sell. And these levels are. So one one point one three one five eight. If price runs through this liquidity, we are coming back into one point one three two seven area there about for a short. So we are looking at strong dollar. So we are very very bearish here. And if we get those grabs, this could be a very nice swings going into the lows. So if we grab liquidity from here. We could come all the way into these POCs down here. All right, if we get this and we run into this POC, that's 228 pips. That's very rewarding. This GBP JPY trade is very sad because I actually took the sell. I got in here. I got in here. But I was very, I was very, very tired. <laughs> The position sizes were very huge and I didn't want to put my stop loss here. So after this first drop here, I closed the position only to wake up to see, this is what I was looking at, price coming back into the liquidity, sort of like this, coming back into the liquidity before the drop. So I, was, I had a sell limit just above here to grab liquidity here, which did not happen. So what am I looking at here? I'm still looking at a potential push here and then we drop all the way down here. So GBP, JPY, I'm still expecting a drop, but I would only go in when we get a pullback into this level here. So uh, GBP, JPY, I'm looking at potential push into 168962. If it decides to go higher, this is the level I'm looking at, 169.566. But I'm still very bearish here. Aero JPY, very similar structure to that of, very similar structure. So I was looking at this. All right, so this is also another level that I was looking at. Euro JPY here, I was looking at price, grabbing liquidity from here before it drops, but it didn't, ha didn't happen. We have price breaking through this POC here. So because of the pullback, so currently this is a very good sell, but I wouldn't sell now. It's actually a good sell, but should I sell or should I not sell? Let me look at GBP JPY again. All right, so because of the pullbacks on GBP JPY, I wouldn't want to sell area JPY now. But if the GBP JPY pushes up into this liquidity and area JPY is still here, then my mind I might start looking to sell this. But if I sell this, I will still keep an eye on the potential for price to push into this level here. 
So if I'm setting a stop loss, I'm going to factor this and put my stop loss here just in case price decides to give the pullback into this zone here. I'll still be safe. Right. So I'm still I'm bearish on Hero JPY as well for the shots. And here we could get TP1 82 pips, TP2 130 pips, TP3 181 pips. So I'm very super bearish here. And let's look at the JPY basket. So the JPY basket is a little tricky. It's not as clear as the setup on Dixie. But I'm hoping the POC here is not invalidated. So what I'm looking at is a drop test POC and then we push to the upside. Right. And I will see how the drops happen. So your JPY looks it still looks quite decent. So we have price rejects in this level. So we might not get a pullback. Wow. I made a mistake on uh, GBP JPY. So I was because I was looking at price pushing back to the outside when a landing session opened like 30 minutes ago, I was trying to scalp this to the upside and then it was a very stupid trade and then i had to close in like 20 pips stop loss uh, 20 pips loss and those were some crazy lots so taking some losses for the for the week already so i need to get my money back from gbp jpy so i'll be keeping an eye for the pullback into this zone to sell to the downside mm -hmm. Keeping an eye on Euro JPY as well for the shots. So I want this to stay here whilst GBP JPY pulls back. And then I'll look to short this as well. So this is Euro CHF. I took this trade from yesterday. Like it looks like a very stupid trade. <laughs> so I went in for a short around here. And price rejected this liquidity and pushed to the upside. But because of my long term bias, I'm still holding the trade. So I'm currently in drawdown and I'm hoping, worst case scenario, we get a double top. And then we start dropping. I was supposed to close the trade here when price dropped here but i was like okay if i've held it through the drawdown why close it the drawdown was not that much but i think i still fucked up i should have closed the trade but i'm still bearish on euro chf here so currently we have a head and shoulders for me yeah and if we get a very nice high here if we get a, the high for me here then I could get some nice drops here. But the, the the one thing about the trade is the, the pip count is not even like it's not even worth it. Like I think this was a very terrible trade. If I'm assessing like so far taking USD card sell on Monday, USD card buy. I lost money on that. And uh, yesterday was Euro CHF. So this is my third trade of the week and it's been terrible. But in general, I'm still up for the week because the Euro USD card trade was good. GBPCHF. GBPCHF. So very bearish. Very bearish. I'll be looking to sell this, but to this what we have now, only 30 minutes, we have this range here. So best selling point would be a break below the psychological level. And I'll look to short, but on a one hour time frame, 
we have prices in on this liquidity here which could facilitate a very nice job from here but again i'm also keeping an eye on this level here which is uh i don't i don't know how price is going to bounce off this level and go here but i'm still i'm just trying to be a little cautious right but if price breaks below here i'll continue to like i'll look to sell from that level into the lows here That's about 200 pips. So we're going to get a drop here. A push, grab liquidity and drop. This would be more interesting. This would be more interesting. But we might not get it. So we keep an eye on this break below and then we go short on this one. So that is GBPCH. So gold sell, GU sell, GJ sell, EJ sell. EOCHF potential sell. I don't really trust that setup. GBPCHF sell. EUSD also potential sell. So EUSD is what I'm looking at. I pull back into the zone and it drop like it's straightforward. It's a very straightforward trade. Pull back here and then drop for. Uh, just 100 pips for now. So we, we are looking at the same pattern running through the USD pair. So here on the H4 on AUD USD. We see a very strong resistance here. So this is actually looking good to sell now. But because of the pullbacks, I'm potentially looking at for Euro USD. I wouldn't sell this now. But this is very bearish. So here is what we're looking at. I pull back into this level here. What could potentially happen in this price could stop hands here. We shall stop hands up there is the psychological level and then finally drop. So I'll be looking at something of that sort. I'll wait and see price reaction in this zone and I'll look to short here. For about 100 pips. Uh, that's 130 pips. So are we expecting similar on NZD, NZD USD? So, NZD USD, we have a head and shoulders. One, two, three. So, I'm looking at the pullback to test the psychological level 0 0.57. And I'll look to short about 100 pips here first target and 150 pips to this level here so i'm very i'm very bullish on the dollar today and i'll be looking for those confirmations i think gold have already started pushing back silver is pushing back as well so on silver there is this level that i didn't highlight as well okay i, I think it's not here it's on gold 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 has uh, okay Gold, this is the level to keep an eye on. Even though we are looking at that H4 push here, price might just reject off this M30 liquidity level. So keep an eye on not just uh, Not just this area of 1.652151, but also keep an eye on this level. One six four seven. Yep. And uh let's quickly look at USD card. So USD card. I tried to buy here, price pulled down, I got out, and now here we are. So I'm still bullish here, but I'll be expecting something like this. 
price to continue dropping give like a double bottom here and i'll look to buy this for 130 pips so this is what i'll be looking at potential double top here sorry double bottom and then i'll look to go long i'll be expecting a drop on us 30 today but i mean i would look at something like this price pull back to to test the poc and then drop i don't really have a target for this but let me see let's say we should target a 50 percent retracement here somewhere into this zone here So I shot German 30 yesterday, but it was premature. I took a, a loss on this. I'm expecting the drop to continue after the pullback. I'll be expecting German 30 to pull back a little bit into the POC. I'll give a lower high like this. Something like this. And I'll be looking into dropping. And I'll be targeting this POC here. One, two, six, two, zero. A break of that level. I'll be looking at potential liquidity gaps below the low here. Same for NAS. That's one hundred. So we see the head and shoulder spotting on NAS one. Two and then three. So pull back to create a lower high. We sell take profit fifth, profit one at a low, and then we can take take profit two on a fifty percent retracement on nice fifty percent retracement is also right below here. So that's a little tricky. So, but it, depending on the momentum of the market, if we price grabs liquidity below this level, high chance it will, it will grab liquidity below this level, just like I highlighted on German 30. So that's something to keep an eye on. Euro NZD, I'm looking to go long on Euro NZD. I'm looking to buy Euro NZD. So why am I looking to buy? We have a head and shoulders pattern, very similar structure to USD card here. Head and shoulders pattern. I'm looking out for this is quite risky because the market is still bearish here, right? Very bearish. We broke the low and then we have this level here. But this would be a risky entry. Pull back here and be looking to go long here for about 250 pips. So the reward is good. If you want to buy this, you should be willing to have about 60 pips stop here and then go long here. Similar structure on Euro AUD. So Euro AUD, I'm also looking to buy this as well. And this is how it treats this. Price is currently resting in this level here, so. Tricky. If I'm trading this, I'm, I don't think I'm going to enter this now. I'll wait for the New York session. By that time, price would have bounced from here. But if I were to take this trade right now, I'll buy here, right here and there, right? And take profit one here and take profit two here. But I don't want to take this trade right now. So I'll let it pass for now. bearish on AUD JPY as well. We have the reversal pattern here, but I'm not going to personally trade AUD JPY. I just use it to, 
to confirm my bias on EO JPY and GBP JPY. So as I said, I'll be going short on those two. This is also a very good sell. We'll work and sell all the way down here, but I won't be personally be trading AUD JPY. Same as since the JPY, I use it as a confirmatory bias for my NJ, uh, GJ and EJ position. So I'll be looking at pull back to test the psychological level 8500 and then drop. If that happens at the same point where GJ and EJ is happening, then I would look to sell EJ and GJ instead, not these. So those are confirmatory bias pairs. Like that's how I look, I look at them. AUD card, um, I'll be looking at pull back here. So I'll, I'll expect this to happen at the opening of the New York session when the news happens. Right? So potential weak, weak card pull back into this level and then drop. So this is the level to keep an eye on. The level to keep an eye on AUD card, 0.86770. Similar structure will be expected on NZD card. So NZD card, what do we have here? Double top. All right, one, two. Lower high. And then so oh shit, okay, you see it, Jeff. That shit is pumping crazy. <laughs> All right, so yes, as I was anticipating, double top here. Right now, I'm in a do or die situation with this, so I'm adding more smoke. I'm already committed on this pair already, so. Might be more cell positions on this. Damn, there's a lot of drawdown. All right, nice. See, so started dropping already. So that's new entry right now. It's so good. The price comes down, I decide to break even on some positions and leave that current. Okay. So I'm still bearish on this. Very bearish on this right now. Maybe I should start doing some landing streams. Yeah. New York session. I can't do New York session streams right now because I'll be in school during this session. So I, I wouldn't get any. Yeah, this is tricky. So uh, GBPCHF is what I'll be looking at. So looks like price is pushing back into this level, push up into that level that we highlighted, and then we look to short here. So that looks very nice and interesting. So finally, let's look at NZDCHF. I'm not trading that ADCHF. BTC because we are looking at a strong USD for today. We'll be expecting some drop on BTC. I'm personally not trading that. But if you want to be trading BTC, this is what you should be looking at. I think I'll rather let me go for a plain chart. That I don't have any markup on. Oh shit, markup on almost everything. So I still expect the pullback. Pullback into 19,500 and we look to sell down to about 18,727 
because I would love to trade Bitcoin here. All right, so quick recap. I'm looking at a bullish dollar. Bullish dollar today. I'm not going to trade USDCHF, but USDCHF looks like a good trade here. All right, I'm not going to personally trade it. If you get a pullback, you can look to buy it, but not something I'm trading. Same for USDJPY. So, anyone that has taken my lesson, you know why I don't trade those pairs. Like, it's not like you can make money from them, but to make your life easier, you just stay away from those ones. Silver, I'm still expecting the pullback to happen. And I'll go short. Gold is very sad, still dropping. <laughs> I want to kill this thing. Pull back and then we shot GBP USD slight pullback on the M30 to sell GBP JPY. Same pullback to sell Euro JPY. So price is still sitting at that level I talked about. We had a drop and a pullback. So here, as I said, I might still sell here or wait for the pullback here. But the conclusion is I'm bearish on this. Euro CHF, we have a double potential double top here. But in general, we have a head and shoulders pattern. So hopefully price don't break below here, above here. So far as price stays below this high here i'm still bearish here and i'll be looking to sell here i'm already selling in a bad drawdown at the moment gbpchf price is testing this level right now but the m30 it looks like we could push up higher here so i'll be i'm not going to sell this now because of my bias on the GBP pairs, GEU and GJ pushing up before they sell. Right. Euro USD, as I said, I'm waiting for the pullback to sell. NZD, USD, AUD, USD, same thing. Waiting for the pullback to sell. USD card to push to the downside to buy. US 30 push to the upside to sell. German 30 push to the upside to sell. Nasdaq push to the upside to sell. Euro NZD push to the downside to buy. Euro AUD if it's a current. Okay, so the trade is already pushing. But as I said, I'm not taking that buy right now. AUD JPY, I'm not trading it, but I'm hoping it pushes back to coincide with AJ and GJ. Same here, not trading this AUD card waiting for a pullback to the upside to sell and NZDCHF, AUDCHF not trading them. BTC waiting for a pullback to sell. I'm not trading this as well, but I'm looking at the liquidity at the 12 hour time frame. Pullback to sell into 19,600 and then sell. So that is my outlook for the week. And let's see how price reacts to those levels. And we see how the JPY and then the USD strength comes into the market. So once again, if you are not subscribed to the channel, like, share, turn on notification button, and let's smash the market. So have a pitiful week.